All right, so now we're going to go into our content view and uh, we're going to get started like, you know, building our UI. So let's go ahead and hop on to content view. And uh, right so far we have uh, our hello world listed there. So what I'm going to do is I will simply resume the um, preview section. Okay, and while it's loading, let's talk about the plan. So what we need to do is, uh, first of all, we need to uh, we need to initialize our repository. That's that's the most important thing. Okay, uh, because uh, that repository once initialized, uh, we are going to be passing it around into our detail views. Okay, so now when our uh, preview is loaded, uh, what I'm going to do first thing, I'm going to create a private variable for repository. And this is going to be type hk repository. Okay, so you have two choices. You can either initialize it here, uh, or you can actually create an net function. So I'm simply going to initialize it here. Okay, and uh, that's where our repository is uh, created. Now we're going to display these items into a grid. So in order to display these items into the grid, we'll create items uh, for the grid items. So it's going to be of type grid items. Okay. And uh, uh, basically this is going to return an array of repeating values. And uh, we're going to simply have like, you know, grid items repeating. Uh, and uh, the initializer that we are looking for is the uh, adaptive type. So I'm going to say dot init. Okay. And uh, you're going to say we are looking for adaptive type. Uh, the only value that I'm going to provide is the minimum size. It's going to be of 120 points. Okay. And uh, then we're going to close this bracket. The count is going to be two. Essentially, uh, this count is uh, how many uh, how many of the rows do we need to um, uh, display? Okay. Uh, like or how many how many uh, columns are there going to be? Uh, for this so we want two items per row uh, so that's what we're gonna say two here okay now here uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna say a navigation view all right so we're gonna create our navigation view inside this navigation view we're gonna create a scroll view with vertical directions that's gonna have shows indicator shows indicators as false for this scroll view and inside the scroll view we're going to create a lazy v grid all right so lazy vertical grid uh, we're going to say the columns are going to be the items that we created so items ah, i should have said items actually okay and uh the spacing is going to be two points okay and for the content we're going to have a for each and this for each is going to be looping over activity dot all activities so it's going to give us an array of activities okay and uh, we're going to go over each activity in all right and we're going to create some navigation links so navigation link destination for now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say destination and this destination is gonna be a text which is gonna show activity dot name okay and uh, we're gonna come back and uh, display the detail here um, okay and then we're gonna have our uh, label for the activity for the for the navigation link okay so this uh is where our content is going to be displayed the way we want our content to be displayed is we want a v stack all right inside the v stack we want a text activity dot image remember we have like an emoji uh passing uh so we're gonna use the text and the frame is gonna have width of 50 and height of 50 points 
there's going to be a background color a rounded rectangle uh, background color with the corner radius uh, to be like you know maybe five and we're gonna provide a fill uh, maybe color dot blue dot opacity 0 0.2 okay that's our first text uh, next is gonna be text activity dot name okay and uh, we're gonna add some padding to these guys uh, we're gonna give it a frame uh, let's give max width as infinity max height as infinity as all well. okay and we're gonna give it a background of round eight rectangle corner radius of about 10 points and the fill color is gonna be color dot blue dot opacity 0 0.2 okay and uh, we're gonna say the button style is gonna be plain button style okay now we're gonna add some padding to this and um, we're also gonna give it a navigation title okay and this navigation title we're gonna say is my health stats that's what the navigation title is going to be now on navigation view we're gonna have on appear okay and uh, we're gonna uh, on appear we can actually perform certain actions so I'm gonna clean this up a bit and I'm gonna write it like this so we need to have the repository we're gonna say request authorization this is gonna give us success okay and we're gonna say uh, um, print auth success success true or false okay all right um, so now it's uh, it's a time to test out and see if uh, we have our um, our app working or not okay so I'm gonna launch uh, my quick time so I can actually show my device let me do that really quickly okay so let me go ahead and launch build the app and uh, let's launch the app all right so as soon as the app is launched uh, first thing you're gonna see is this um, basically screen and what this is screen is uh, is the permissions uh, that you have uh, requested so let me see if I can actually get rid of this. Yeah, there you go. So this is the screen. Uh, and as you can see, these are the some of the things that we have requested. We have requested active energy. We have requested exercise time, stand minute, steps, and walking and running distance. So I'm going to enable all of them one by one. Or you can like do it like this. Okay. And click allow. And there we have it. We have our uh, each individual section that um, that we have actually uh, sort of like you know created a tile for okay so uh, now these tiles are, are available for us to use so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to start working on our detail view now detail view needs a few things for example it needs a chart and uh, it needs a list so first thing it makes sense to have like you know our um, our chart done first okay and uh, once we are done with the chart how we're gonna create our detail uh, view model and uh, we're gonna then create our detail view right so first thing we're gonna create our chart view 